All he had to do was win. And that's something we can correct. When I took this job, I felt that we could be very competitive in our league, but I never anticipated us getting to the level that we got to. And with tough athletic players like Ricky Sobers, Jackie Robinson, and Eddie Owens, he did. 20 games in his first season and 24 the next. Tark's Rebels were really on the run. The Rebels were showtime before the Lakers were showtime. They scored a lot of points and it was very fast paced, but really the team was built around defense. Tark's motto was, we're going to play 40 minutes of nonstop pressure basketball. Stolen, beautiful steal, and Sam Smith ties. We wanted to score, steal it, and score again. And they're on the run. We were getting so many turnovers, so many steals that we just start scoring quick, and then all of a sudden, you know, you look up and you got 69 points at halftime. Beautiful move by Yannick. Scored 110 points a game with no three-point line. 100 points again for the running Rebels. They had great teams. I remember as a kid, I used to go into my mom's bedroom, and I'd take my blanket with me, and i put the blanket over the television and over myself and watch the entire game. We were watching artists out there. In 1976 and 1977, UNLV lost a total of just three regular season games. Affectionately known as the Hardway Eight because they relied on only eight players. The 77 Rebels were a scoring machine. They set NCAA records for most points in a season and consecutive games scoring more than 100 points. And made their first ever trip to the Final Four.